For tax two, we had to use information we researched and then share in discussion information researched by our peers who may have had the same or related issue to see how the te text interconnected. Sometimes the text others had did not support what I wanted to relate to my audience. So I went back to the drawing board until I was satisfied with my information and I came up with a slogan to put on my poster about my environmental issue to support my claims. What we want to focus on for this unit is unit two and real scenarios. That's, that's one of the main things right now that we are focusing on for this new um, RCD unit. Uh, the real scenario for this one is that the kids have to uh, create a, an awareness of something that they've learned. They are student reporters. They have to choose an environmental issue that they feel that they want the public to be aware of uh, because it has not been revealed. And that's what their overall unit will cover an expose, which says that they will find an issue that, has, that needs to be revealed but has not been. They have taken it on themselves to do that. So what they will have to do in the first uh, part of this unit, they will do some research. They will research the issue that they have decided that they're going to do and after they research, then they will get into groups, then they will share that information uh, and discuss it to see if maybe someone who has a related issue uh, has some information that maybe they can use it to change it a Sometimes they can't, sometimes they can. And when they can't, they go back to the drawing board and then they do some research again. With that information, they have to create then a poster board. And that is what you are about to see in this, um, this video. The students have created posters that will bring awareness to different issues. Uh, and with that, they have to come up with a slogan and uh, they have to share that slogan as if the public or the class themselves, they are the, they're the community that uh, these uh, young people will be sharing their information with. So they're given a rubric before they start their, their uh, information to kind of inform them or guide them as to uh, where they want to go, what it is that the requirements will be in order for them to be able to get the grade that they want to get. And uh, with that, then they begin to, 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 to create. They begin to take the data, the information that they've been given and create their awareness. And then they have, to, they have to share it out. They have to tell the public what's going on. And after they do that, then that is building, because it's scaffolding, that builds then to a, um, the expose that they're going to write. And uh, with that, they will submit that to turn it in. And what I do with my students as I teach them, any, every time they read, I want them to always engage in text to text, text to self, and text to world. And this new uh, scenario that we're doing with uh, live scenarios, uh, something that uh, it can actually happen and may be happening as well, um, they can interact better with that because it's something that they've seen on television. There's something that they've read in magazines or articles or books or whatever. And so now they can relate uh, to that a little bit more than just giving them something off the cusp. Because now they know that they can um, become reporters. They know that they can write like reporters. They know that they can think like reporters. So they focus on the who, the what, the where, the why, and the how. Uh, and, and they put that in paragraph format so that they will be able to relate that one to another. And so it's been a, an awesome journey for these kids because they are now engaging with one another. We start with giving them information. They get the information, then they go with internalization, which is an individual piece. From the, in, uh, from the internalization, then those kids would then go to collaboration, which when they get into their groups. And after they collaborate, then they identify, or identification, wherein they will identify these issues in their um, uh, research information and then from that they go to demonstration because now they have to demonstrate what they can identify and then they release that to the class and so this is the um, the process by which we go through to get these students to uh, understand that they can do this thing and so we're looking forward to what these kids are going to do so what you're about to see is the results of what has happened in the process of this unit two all right the issue I chose was global warming I researched several articles on the topic of global warming my assignment but the information I focused on most was 
Saving the World from Global Warming by Concerned Scientists of the World. Um, when I created my poster, we came up with a slogan that informed the images and the message we wanted to our public to be informed of. I learned that global warming is a big problem and not many are focusing on it and not doing anything to change it. I could have created my awareness poster either physically or digitally, but I chose to create my awareness poster, poster digi digitally because it was more easier. One of the main tools we were given for creating our poster was a rubric. The tool helped me gauge my time and to decide what I would have to include in my project and to get the grade I wanted to get. The rubric also served as a checklist so that I could check off the requirements I had met and I could move on to the next step in creating my poster project. Having a rubric before creating my project made me feel more organized and aware of what all the requirements I needed for my poster. We're here in our little circle here because we're going to talk about the reflection of uh, task two where you guys had to um, create an awareness poster. You had to come up with your uh, environmental issue and then you had to go forth with all the things that we've talked about earlier here or whatever. But what I want to talk to you guys about now, because this is going to inform me as to how I'm going to go forward and it's going to inform you guys as to how you will go forward. Okay? So, what I want, the first thing I want to ask you guys is this. When we first talked about the fact that we were going to do an expose, what did you think about that word? I didn't know what you were talking about. Didn't you know what I was talking about? No. I just knew exposed, but like I didn't yeah. know what yeah. we were exposing. Yeah. Oh. Okay, all right. So then as we went along, you, you know, started doing the research first. What, what was the, were there any difficulties in, in, in coming up with uh, information, research in reference to your particular issue that you had chosen? Yes, finding the right information because you can find different things, but it's not probably about that environmental issue. Find credible sources yeah. and definitely looking at like for both sides of the argument, you still have to take in both considerations, and it was hard to find the like opposing side. Okay, all right. Okay, so then once you got that information down, okay, and you were able to go forth with that, when you got into your groups and you began to share the information from your, your, your peers. Um, how uh, important or, or, or how helpful, if at all, was that to interact with someone who had the same issue or a related issue? It helped a lot because we all had like different articles on what so, so like the information we seen like what they had and what we had and we can like put it together. Very good, very good. What about it? like somewhat different point of view too. So. Okay, okay, very good. Okay, so now, when you had to come up with your slogans, did, did you did you do your slogan first, or did you uh, decide to create the poster first? Which one did you decide to do first? I created my poster first because it would seem easier. And the slogan, you had to think about it. Like, what exactly can I come up with the for? So, in other words, you're saying that you created your slogan based on what you had on your poster. I created yeah, my slogan first. Yeah, I did my slogan first. I did the slogan first because it seemed less like important. Okay. I felt like it was the hook, so I'm like, I don't yeah. the hook first. So okay. Yeah. All right. That's okay. Just whatever works for you because all of you guys got a good grade on it. So I'm interested to see how did you go about doing that. That's that's what I want to know. How did you go about by doing that? Okay. What did you learn from it? Remember, we was talking about a real life scenario as opposed to just giving you an assignment to do. What, what was helpful with that, or, or not? Having a real scenario to, to... I felt like I became more aware yeah. of like what was going on. Yeah. I feel like everyone did because yeah. we were doing things that like, we weren't really like, it's not like we all go home and like, oh, like I want to do research on water pollution, global warming, like air pollution, so like it was really like an eye opener to yeah. like do something real. Okay, so now, when we talk about, we talked about environmental issues, whatever, but now we are ELA class. How did y'all see that connected? Or did you see it connecting from the beginning? It didn't really connect until after. Like I realized, like if I was to have to give like a speech about something like as real as that, then I'd have to use my running like aspects and like all my things to make that. But at first, like when you said that we were doing that, I was kind of confused because it's a writing class. Okay. And at what point 
did you began to get some understanding, some comprehension? Once that. I realized that we were doing the expose and that it was a writing piece and you said that a lot of newspapers would do exposés and it kind of clicked that like writing and exposés and environmental issues can all be in the same category. Very good. What about the rubric? Did, did the rubric inform you in it? Did it, did it help you in, in the process of your putting your, your poster together? Yeah, the rubric helped me know how to gather my information up. The outline is what it helped me. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Very good. Okay. So, when we sum this whole thing up, sum the whole thing up, what I want each one of you to give me one thing, one thing that you feel like you would do differently the next time. If, if you had to do the same uh, project over a task, over what would you do differently? Or would you change anything at all? I would probably take my time doing research because I feel like I rushed my research so I didn't get all the information that I had needed. So I had to scratch it out a little bit. I would probably do a little more research. Okay. What about it? Uh, I'd research more like real life events that have caused problems in people's lives, I guess. Okay. I would Thanks. find uh, more reliable sites to okay. get my information from. Okay. Right. I wouldn't change anything because I felt like I did all I could. Better, but you did a good job. So just just think what you could do if you did just a little bit more. Because you did a good job. Talk to us, Miss Nick. I mean, there's always room for improvement, and I think that I wish I had looked at my outline a little bit more and like just kind of like put it in a different aspect of the way I wrote it. Okay. All right. Well, guys, I, I what you have said today actually really and truly it has helped me because when I get ready to do this uh, project again, this task. I would know some things to take in consideration uh, for this and you have also helped your students, your peers will come after you because now those things, because I don't think that I did everything just right with this, uh, you know. It was kind of confusing at first, I didn't understand mm -hmm. until like, we were finished, mm -hmm. like put it all together. Yeah, and so what we do when we reflect at young people, we we get an opportunity to do it the second time, get do it right, do it better or whatever. And so. What I learned from you guys and what you learned from me, that's what makes everything work together. Thank you so very much.